What is good YouTube? This is Zach here and I am doing a response video to Tim Inno Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh's uh, recent video about Japan winning another Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship. Uh, this response video was basically piqued by my interest to respond to the guys over here about their opinions towards the fact that they think that the OCG gets an unfair advantage at Worlds because they have access to all of these cards for extensive three, almost three to eight months ahead of the TCG. So basically going over it to an analyze what they did, uh, they went over the fact that uh, half of the decks that topped at Worlds were recently was uh, Blue Eyes, and then it was a pen there were Pendulum variants, and then Monarchs. So that was basically the core kit, and that makes me automatically assume that even though Monarchs got super heavily hit during the Worlds format, they still did incredibly well with the non-domain variants, you know. So that makes me go instantaneously. They're going out. They're going to get hit. So if you guys want to get rid of those ulti carazes and stuff, I'd do that. Or, I mean, you could still be hardcore. Stay with the group. Stay with the Monarchs and do it even though the list hits. No judging. I personally, I'm tired of seeing them at my locals. I don't want to see them anymore. Uh... Next up is going to be the fact that, uh, looking forward, we see that the Blue Eyes deck had, I would say, a good six, seven, almost eight months of prep time in Japan for them to really look, grab, get together, and build up on. And um, we recently just had it, I think about a month and a half ago, released uh, officially with Alternative Dragon and whatnot. And I really do agree with them in this. I feel like when it comes to power decks, stuff like this, stuff that is both, uh, you know, released on both fronts, uh, Worlds uh, gives the OCG far more of an advantage. Even though both uh, formats are playing with the same cards, and you know, there's no in if ands or uh, in betweens when it comes to you know exclusive stuff or whether or not you know unique cards are getting cut. Blue Eyes in general was seen all the way through completely just positive topping, positive topping, all the way in the OCG. To this day, you know, right now they've got, like, a pretty cool diverse meta over there. They got DDDs, they got ABCs, they got Blue Eyes, and they got uh, a couple other decks. But um, what's cool about that is the fact that they got another diverse meta because they lost all... They got their uh, Burning Abyss, and then they got their uh, Monarchs hit. But we haven't got that yet, so they're still, you know, going about their ways, taking over the meta. Now, to look at it like this... Um, Blue Eyes is just one of the standard decks that uh, is basically super overpowered. And when we were going to take an advantage of uh, looking at how we may have, uh, you know, Blue Eyes here now, uh, they're getting Cosmo just now. And so, like, these TCG exclusive archetypes and stuff, let's say, for example, uh, in the near... Let's say, for example... Oh, here's an idea. Let's do this. Uh, look at a hypothetical. If the rest of the Cosmo stuff comes out in an extra pack like two weeks before a Worlds happens, or maybe a month before a Worlds happens, and the OCG has no idea how to play these Cosmos as well as the uh, North American players do, and they let the Cosmo for, uh, deck come in, you're going to instantly see, we're going to probably have a lot of North American, or TCG at least, players topping in the top eight for Worlds. And that will instantly, I would say, prove that uh, what they're saying here is accurate in as much as uh, these guys are getting such an unfair advantage at Worlds, they're basically getting the ability to take all of this, pres uh, you know, all this preordained knowledge they were given. It, it works kind of like in the video game fighting uh, tournament format, in which uh, players who would get Street Fighter Five early or something like that would overseas would be able to get an upper hand on the new players that get it later on when it releases in their country. And as such, it completely overpowers them. They lose all interest in really topping, and a lot of players drop off really quickly. Which is why worldwide international releases of games is so heavily looked upon in terms of the fighting games. Um, this should go towards Yu-Gi-Oh! 2, because it is a competitive game. Now, uh, I'm also very pro uh, TCG OCG merging. I want that whole... Uh, unity of being able to use OCG exclusive cards. I want the ability that what, what Magic does. They allow, uh, with translations, any, uh, you know, version or language of the card. They allow, you know, Russian, Korean, Japanese. You, as long as you've got a translated version of that card or a translated e uh, evidence of what it does from official sources, you can play it in your deck. Now, I can see, you know, Japan has different types of cards. They develop their stuff out of uh, unrecycled paper, and we use recycled paper, and I think Europe uses unrecycled paper to make their cards, so it may be easier to do stacking with, but that's an easy fix. 
you can make them all unrecycled paper or all recycled paper and as such there's not going to be any discrepancy and uh, that made me instantly think you know okay so a merger would be a great idea now worlds t this year was pretty awesome and in my opinion I think it was probably my second favorite worlds next to I think 2011 worlds but uh, I think that was uh, TG agents and that was fun because I just I, I played the deck before hand and I was like oh deck so OP at any rate I'm personally pro for a merger so I would look at this on the way of you know they had good points these guys at team innovation they had some really strong points and arguments towards the fact that they believe that this format should be merged uh, I do believe that the OCG does have an unfair advantage in the in terms of uh, interaction between the TCG at Worlds and Although I am going to wish Shinsuke a, you know, congratulations, you topped again, but this time he didn't use Teller Knights, he used those blue eyes. I was hoping to see you bring Teller Knights back again. They didn't get hit in this format. It would have been cool to see you do it again, but, you know, blue eyes are superior in that aggressive stance, and uh, that's all you need. You know, shout out to that Phoenix Wing. I was using that thing too, uh, playing it online, but that's just, that's just my opinion on a couple things. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. A uh, shout out to Team Innovation. Thanks for making this video so I can make a reply to it. And um, I will talk to you guys later. This is Mystic V signing out.